and welcome back everybody welcome back to dire wolf 20 here on the primus server today we are gonna get started with some stuff like you wouldn't believe oh my lord have mercy get ready for some stuff wow oh lord have mercy anyway let's get to it let me um show you a little bit of some progress i've made here in the old homestead uh here in the magical laboratory so I set up one of these things, and if I turn my Wayla back on, you will see that this is an advanced node stabilizer. Um, basically, uh, look these guys up in your Thomnomicon. They're pretty much amazing. What you can do with these advanced no node stabilizers is you can build yourself a super node. Um, you've got regular node stabilizers. These aren't that great. Uh, they're actually pretty easy to make. It's just some stuff in an arcane workbench. But its better part is the advanced node stabilizer. And if you guys didn't know, if you capture a bunch of nodes in jars and put them next to each other, they will begin to drain Vs from each other and eventually the bigger node will win. Um, with the advanced node stabilizer, you can basically protect the node you want to keep and then put little nodes next to it and it will absorb the magic from them. So we'll take this guy here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Maybe we can catch it on camera. So I'm going to put him down and then I'm going to zap him with my wand. As you can see, this is a 42 mountain and 47 aqua node. And if you look at the node on the inside of my uh, advanced what is it called? Node Stabilizer. You can see it has a lot of stuff in it. Um, that is because I've been capturing small nodes, putting them on the outside here, and letting the big node eat them. So this is a smaller node than this node, so it will eventually be absorbed into this node, and we can use this giant node to power things through Thomcraft ways. So yeah, it's kind of slow going. As you can see, that little lightning bolt was it being drained. And yeah, so eventually all of this will be drained into that. And it's not a one-for-one -one conversion. You do lose power in the process. It's not like 40 mountain is going to go into this. But it eventually will go in there and we'll get a bigger node here. So we're eventually going to make this our giant node. And then what we want to do is put one of these harnessing Vs things on it. What is this guy called? It is a node transducer. And it's not too hard to make. And basically what we can then do with the tr node transducer is put it on top of this and use the power of this node to, one, either recharge our wands, or two, make this infernal furnace go a lot faster. So yeah, that's mainly what we're going to use it for is making our furnace go faster, but charging up our wands would be cool too. Um, there's a couple ways to do it, but we're going to try this way too. When, once we get this, this node big enough, we will try that, but today... What I want to do, and you'll see I have a little building here, is um, eventually what I want to start do, to do is uh, run quarries. But um, because I've been focusing on magic so much, I don't have a lot of technology. Um, I don't have a lot of power. So basically I've been running things on charcoal. Like this is like the extent of my technology here is this farm. Um, and I've been running it by physically chopping down trees and making charcoal out of it. But what we can do is use Thomcraft to automate it. And we're gonna automate it the old fashioned way with the Thomcraft by using these handsome little devils, iron golems. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pick up this whole chest here and we're gonna move it upstairs because we got work to do. So let's grab this, boop. Let's run up here. We need to make some golem animation cores. And uh, as you can see, I tried putting some of these paving stones of warding here to keep my golem from trying to go through this mess here but um apparently these golems are retarded so keep that in mind um they do not look he's just jumping trying to jump through the paving stone of warding so eventually i got to collect these and put them back up but anyway ugh, golems golem problems you know what i mean anyway here is our chest full of stuff um one of the first golem cores we want to make and that is going to be to chop down the trees is this guy here the Golem Core of Chop. So if we look this up, we need an Axe of the Stream. We need a Golem Core of Harvest. Oh, wait, do I have this? Um, we need an Iron Axe and a bunch of stuff. So I thought I had that, but now that I see... Oh, here it is, Golem Core of Harvest. Okay, we got this stuff. Never mind. I got a little scared there for a second. 
but we have the rest of the stuff too. Let's see here, we got one, two, three axe. We're gonna take two more just in case um, things go crazy here on the old infusion altar. So this guy goes in the middle. Um, here at the top, we're gonna put our axe of the stream. And here, we'll put, we'll put two axes here. We'll put an axe there and an axe there. And if I did my calculations correct, whammo zammo, we should start getting some stuff going on here. Um, while that is going on, while you hear the magic, and I think what I've done, thanks to my Dragon Age playthrough, I've got the sounds figured out on my computer, so you guys might actually be hearing some of the magical stuff going on. So that is good. That's good news. So this is doing its thing. The next thing we want to make is this Golem Core here, the Golem Core of Yu's. And basically, we're going to put this on a golem in order for him to plant the saplings. So one golem is going to plant the saplings, one golem is going to cut down the trees, and another golem is going to... Did I get it? I got it. Cool. One golem is going to plant the trees, one golem is going to chop them down, and the other one, if we look over here, we've got a little pedestal here. I already have one golem set up. He's a handsome little fella, and he is set to gather. So if I dropped something here, I actually did a few tests. So like, yeah, like, like, let's say a tree got chopped down and here's the wood. He should eventually pick that up and put it into this chest. So cool. Let's uh, jump back over. Whee! <laughs> oh, I love these boots. Um, and let's make the next golem animation core. We want to make the used one now. And I think it requires this one and all of these various gadgets here. So let's collect this stuff and let's let's get to making. So in the middle here, we want to put this one. Plonk. I'm pretty sure that's right. Let's look it up here real quick. I think it's empty. Golem core empty. Got it. Cool. All right. So here, let's put all these comparators over here. Oh, let's pick up these axes for sure. Um, let's put this flint and steel over here. What goes in this one? We'll just throw levers in here. And this guy will take the last thing, which I think is just a pair of shears. And Expelliarmus! That will get made and we'll have a use core. So let's go ahead and set up our tree cutting golem. I'm going to use this iron one because... For some reason in my brain, I think the iron one... Oh, shoot. No! No, no, no! Alright, um, that is actually still on there, so I think that'll work. Let's actually put one here, just in case. There we go. Alright, we're, we're getting a bit of instability here. And let's get our golem core back. Let's get this off of here. Goodness gracious, we're making a mess this episode. Okay, let's just watch this for a minute because it is not to be trusted. There we go. All right, so we got all our golem cores now. We could actually grab our other golem. Okay. Whew, that was scary, guys. Let's jump over here. And I guess, like, maybe, like, right here, I want to set up my lumberjack golem. So he'll be standing right there. We'll put the core on him. And he is ready to start chopping down. And he's cool and all. Here... In this barrel, I want to have an inventory of spruce saplings. So let's go ahead and set that up. There we go. Get in there and we'll lock it. Cool. And then we'll set this guy down on the inventory. And then we're going to put use on him. So he is ready to use these saplings for something. He doesn't know what yet. So we're going to do that. And we're going to tell him to plant them. And we're going to tell them to plant them in these specific areas. Very cool, right? I love this little bell. Oh, what the heck just happened? Um, oh, I think I just deselected him. Hold on. Come back here, Gollum. There we go. Last one. And I want him to do the 2x2 two two trees because those grow super fast. My little lumberjack guy here is waiting for them to be chopped down. But now what I want to do is set this up so that this uh, kind of gets piped out a certain way. So we want one there. And let's see here. Let's click on this guy. 
Let's set it to extract and we want to put an item filter on it for sure. We've got a couple item filters here. Item filter. We'll put that there like that. Let's grab ourselves a sapling. And we'll put item sapling, spruce tree, and I guess whitelist it. Yeah, we want to whitelist it. And we want to change this one to input. So that should take all the saplings from this chest and put them in here, right? Oh, we probably have to set like the redstone active without signal. There we go. All the saplings are being put in this chest. I don't know why the used golem does this. He keeps picking them up and putting them down. I don't know if that's going to cause lag or not. We might have to find another way to do this. Let's turn Wayla off for a second. Here we go. So these guys are ready to go. These trees haven't grown yet, but that's good. That's fine. We're going to jump down here, and we're going to get to... Actually, we need to go back up. <laughs> we need to grab the stuff to make the infernal furnace, and we may as well just take the whole chest with us. Pew! So let's pick up this whole chest with a dolly. Like this. Boop! And we're going to take it to the second level. All right, so here I have just like a very loose template of where I want the arcane is it the infernal furnace yeah it's the infernal furnace so it's a three by three structure so we're going to pick all this up and i should totally put this chest down because it's giving me mining fatigue there we go there that's a little faster so if we look in the book the old thomcraft how-to guide we can see that the infernal furnace is made like this okay so nether bricks in the corner got it all right so we should have nether bricks here. We're going to put some of this wood up. I already hear my golem upstairs cutting down a tree. So the system has already started working. So that is good. I'm a little distracted by it, to be honest. Let's get this, and we'll grab our iron bars. Very cool. So let's see here. In the corners, like that. I hope that I brought enough obsidian, and I think I did. So here in the middle, more of this. Man, I hear that lumberjack golem just going crazy up there. All right, so then we put our bucket of lava. Actually, oh yeah, let's just do it here. I don't care anymore. I wanted this facing towards my base, but seriously, who cares? So like this, and then I think boop, 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 and boop. Okay, I did that pretty good. And... Let's see here. Let's look at our wand and see what kind of igneous... Okay, I think we have enough in our wand to do this. There we go. One infernal furnace. Your infernal furnace. Let's go into our chest here. I should have some more stuff that's going to make this possible. We're going to put a grate there. We're going to grab our hopper. And we're going to grab a hungry chest. Hungry chest is good because it is not a vacuum chest. The problem with using vacuum chest with this infernal furnace is that it will literally pull stuff that is about to be smelted out of it. So that is not good. So let's put this guy here. And that'll keep us from falling into it, which is always a good thing. Let's, um, actually, let's take this down here real quick. I don't want things to get filtered so quickly that I'm unable to figure stuff out. But let's grab this and some item filters. And let's get this going. Um, hopefully I can do this. Boop. Okay, that's perfect, actually. So we're going to put another item filter here. And we're going to set it to whitelist spruce logs. Perfect. And then that is going to be pumped into this hopper. And we just need one more pipe to do it. And we just need to set this as input. And if we look in here, it might we might see it to start work. Oh, wait, we got to set this to auto do. Gosh, I can't get to it quite because of this thing. All right, maybe. Eh. All right, we need, an, we need an empty hand, right? All right. Eh. Eh. All right, we need to take up the hopper real quick. It is just right in our way. There we go. Let's auto extract on this. Active without signal. Perfect. So if we put that down like that, 
we can see that it has started smelting the wood. So eventually what this furnace should do is start shooting out charcoal. It's gonna put it there. And then what we can do is just do something like this, go back to our base and we're gonna grab ourselves a big old barrel to put all of our delicious charcoal we're about to get in to it. So where is Madame Dolly? There it is. Come here, you. And as you can see, it's already started working. Um, my little golems upstairs have gone crazy and they're picking up the stuff already. So if we put that there, oh, we're gonna have to get underneath it somehow, aren't we? Well, how about we just do this? We just pick it up again and just put it one higher. Yeah, that way we can actually click on it. Let's just do that. So we can click on this. We can say insert. We can get our pickaxe back. And we can set this to auto extract, right? Active without signal. And there we go. We already started collecting charcoal. The only thing, there's a couple things we can do to speed this up. One being we can make arcane bellows for each side, which we're gonna do. And this system should last forever, guys. Like, this is a zero power system. Um, it requires no energy. Um, we actually need to look up what it takes to make an arcane's bellow because I've already forgotten. Let's see here, leather, air shard, and iron ingots, and wood. Sounds easy enough. Let's put some of this stuff away just to get it out of our inventory. We'll clean this up later. Um, so we need an iron ingot, we need air shards, and we need ourselves some leather, which I don't see right away. Maybe it's over here. Leather? Hello? Oh, I saw it. I saw it there just like at the last minute. There we go. So let's go over to this thing. And this goes like this. We've got two pieces of wood on the side. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, three. Very good. Uh, air there and this like that. And there you go. Arcane bellows. We're gonna switch out this one for this one. There we go. Arcane bellows, very cool. So this will speed up the process a little bit. I don't know if it even needs it because I don't know if the trees upstairs can keep up. I already hear them cutting it down. But I, 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 there are some things we can do to make the trees grow a little faster as well. So that might be something worth considering. Let's go up there and watch the little guy cut down one of these trees. There we go, that was a little bit of a delay. So if we look here, this little guy is just going to town on this tree and it is now raining on us, which is good. That'll be good for tree growth. This little guy's picking them up and this little guy's planting them. So very cool. Let's see here. I now have to worry about this stuff. So let's turn the weather all the way off. And there we are, guys. We've got ourselves a little self-sustaining tree farm. Let's already look in here. It's empty. We've got ourselves a stack of saplings, so that should last us a good long while. And this little guy is slowly chopping down this tree. Now, I'm not sure what is going to make the um, lumberjack tree work faster, um, or the lumberjack golem work faster, a speed upgrade or a strength upgrade. But let's take a look here real quick and see if it gives us a hint. Golem animation core chop. Let's see here. Like a harvester golem, the lumberjack golem can be placed anywhere. They seek down... The stronger golems will chop them down faster. So we need the strength core. Let's see here. Which one of these does strength? I would guess it would be this one, right? The earth upgrade. So gold nuggets and an earth shard. That sounds cool. So we can definitely get him chopping these down faster. I don't know if he even needs to, but... I think what we want to do is maybe experiment with some different kind of trees and see what grows faster. I, I picked the spruce because A, I like spruce, and B, it grows in a big old pattern. So patterns are good. It grows in a two by two little uh, section, which I think ad is very advantageous because it gives you a lot of wood. The only other things that are bigger would be like redwood or some other kind of damn tree. Yeah, see, he's already going crazy on it. Where are you at, Lumberjack? Let's give him this. And he should chop this down even faster now. Let's see here. I haven't noticed any change, but it's definitely working, and it seems to be working constantly, too. 
So what I could do is get like a, um, I could get a chunk loader, put it here overnight, and hopefully in the morning, I would have a ton. Oh, look at that. I need to set up something to collect experience here as well, because this does put a output experience. So yeah. Okay, guys, I think we're going to wrap up the episode there. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a big old thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Take care and goodbye. Pew! Pew! Oh my god, I landed up here. How cool is that? Bye!